commentate a very peculiar match at the moment. Um, yeah. Zeram, Ness, um, we definitely see him regularly play as well. The thing is, Joe is just really hit or miss. One day he get third, the, the next day he gets 17th. He's just really all over the place. Well, I mean, you see the things he goes for? Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> and t But today, right now, it's looking like maybe one of those fourth, top four placings. Um, he's already in winner semis, guaranteed top five, no matter what happens right now. And Dingus, on the other hand, is more consistent, been doing well over the past few weeks. Um, even got top eight at Xanadu, the first Xanadu back of the new venue, 170 entrance. So he's definitely been stepping it up. Yeah, but he does have his work cut out for him. You know, Zeram, a very phenomenal player, and he, he doesn't really break, you know. There, there's definitely that caliber of play that defeats him, but he doesn't really lose if you're below that caliber of play. Yeah, he's a fearless player. I definitely noticed that. He's like, he's going to go for his thing, like whatever setup he has in his mind, regardless. He has, he basically has his win condition, even if it's like wacky. And that I, I tried to explain to people earlier, earlier how like you need win conditions, especially against uh, high tier characters. You can't just go into the match as a low mid tier character and not have a win condition, because you might end up winning neutral a bunch, but you won't be able to close out matches. Yeah, definitely very well said. And right now, you know that win condition is approaching at least on Zerob's end with a back throw, which you know. About 10 to 15 more percent gaming watch would definitely explode. He does have down smash option and up air. Um, while Dinga Joe, on the other hand, has maybe a down smash mm. or an up smash, and he does manage to get it. Great stuff by Dinga Joe. All right, so another thing that I was talking about earlier today was how when you run up to someone and you do a option that's meant to punish the spot dodge, it has to be an option that's either timed or just the natural timing of the move punishes the spot dodge timing. And that was a good example of how to do it, as opposed to the one from before, which didn't work. So kudos to Dingus Joe, knowing like his up smash does punish an air dodge. He trusted it. He threw it out, trusting the air dodge read. I mean, spot dodge read. Yeah, yeah and that Elmy gave him the lead. He he did a little bit with it, but not as much as I'm sure he would have liked to have done. He did uh, have a 38% lead, but Zerom is closing it very, very quickly. Um, but just like that, Dingus Joe turning things right around, already getting Zerom to 62%. The winning here is very important for uh, Joe because I I do feel like this isn't the greatest stage for him in this matchup. It gives Ness like all the space he wants in the world. Uh, Game Watch not really able to go in as fast to get to Ness. Uh, Ness is a very slippery character, so if he wins this match, uh, it's going to set him up for the set if he, if it goes to game three. And it looks like he is going to win it. He keeps playing this way. Good job. Wait for the air dodge. Doesn't go for the up air, but that forward air is going to put him off. Is he finally going to bucket it? No, not quite yet. Um, Game of Watch can bucket, you know, Zero Arms Recovery. I'm surprised he hasn't uh, opted to do that quite yet. But it is one option that he does have available. Um, but currently, he's just kind of sticking to the tried and true interception approach. Back airs whenever Zero Arms does jump in the air. Maybe an up smash to kind of stop an air dodge or an aerial coming down. That could have been it right there. Beautiful F smash comes in. Dengue Joe is going to take it at only 39%. It's a really good punish right there. Um, you notice that Dengue Joe was like kind of reading the fact that Zeron was dodging the normal setups and punishing him for the dodges he had, the directions he had to go to to dodge those setups. Like that one up air, he punished him to the fair, put him off stage, put him at disadvantage. Uh, stuff like that is very important. It's it's. It's really bad when you start getting too greedy for your normal uh, kill confirms. And that's how you can lose matches that are firm in your hand. And Joe was able to just go, now nah, I'm cool with picking you apart. I know I'm Game Watch, I know I'm light, and I have this lead, and I want to close out the match, but I'm just going to chill. Um, speaking of chilling, he's, it seems like he's doing a really, really good mix of chilling back and just kind of putting up kind of a wall, essentially. You know, granted, Ness has a great priority. He does not have disjoints. Game Watch has so many disjoints at his disposal, and he's just kind of throwing them out there and letting uh, Zerom run into them, essentially. Um, mm. Currently, it's not paying off anymore. Zerom's saying, you know what? Enough of you just kind of intercepting all of my aerials. I'm just going to make sure everything's spot on and run inside of you before I hit a button. He kind of forced Joe back to the edge and then had a setup ready, but Joe wiggled his way out of it. But even though he wiggled his way out of it, he still ended up losing the trade. Uh, Percentage-wise, overall, so it really wasn't worth it. Uh, backing, backing away off stage again. There just could have easily, you know, done something else. But hey, punish, by the way, on by uh, Dingus Joe. That's the second time he's done that. Where's there? Oh my goodness! You're not gonna re-grab over here. 
I don't think uh, I don't think he remembered how his jump jump arc goes because uh, <laughs> he definitely goes low again before he goes high. And when he double jumped, he just put himself into the position of getting hit by that down smash, fully charged. Like you weren't getting through that. <laughs> Um, but what I was going to say is, you know, whenever uh, you're on the ledge, Ness, Ness is like to charge down smash, and Dengis Joe has just punished it multiple times. Just kind of drops down, comes up with an air, gets a couple extra percent. Um, good job on Zerum, you know, kind of keeping it close. 2% um, difference in the way last round uh, started off. Last time I think he was at 38% when he killed Dengis Joe, this time at 36. But Dengis definitely having a much better... Uh, grass on this matchup this time around definitely learned a couple things last time and is just doing a great job i liked how zerum got down just then he just relaxed let his up let let the up air like keep him floating without using any of his recovery resources freaking out with an air dodge or anything like that which is what dingus was looking for and he was able to like get back to the ground unscathed right now looking like any hit could uh end his uh last stock right here He's trying to figure out how to go in <laughs> against Game Watch. I like I like that from Dingus, like kind of dash dancing, kind of like nah, like I got the advantage. Like I'm not gonna just sit still and, and let you get uh, stage control, and make you feel comfortable. It's gonna make you feel uncomfortable, make it hard for you to approach me right now. Definitely doing that, especially with all the up smashes. As you mentioned earlier about a win condition, is this gonna be it? And, no, uh, that's that puts them off stage though. I do believe that Dingus could have bucketed that and had a full bucket off that if he had just down beat. Like when you down B. You actually like suck in the projectiles from a pretty far range, so I think you could have just like gotten it right there uh, for free. Gonna wait for this air dodge. Wait for it. Doesn't get the forward air this time. You know, Zerum at 138%. Dang it, Joe, doing everything he can. He could have bucketed. He could have bucketed. He didn't bucket. I thought we were gonna see the bucket attempt right there to just kind of end the game. Dash attacks again. Pressure is going to bait it out. This time he finally does go. let it rip. Good stuff. Dinka Joe with a 2-0 over Zero.